good morning Azeroth good morning Azeroth it is Neil your friendly warrior tank from Medivh and I help people learn achievements and this is good morning Azeroth for Wednesday the 25th of October 2017 Neil's attempt to bring the news from all around the world of Warcraft and today's top story it's a new weekend wow it's a new weekend wow uh, coming up new World of Warcraft Legion events for the week of October 24th including another increase in artifact knowledge uh, arena skirmish bonus event new mythic plus a fixes a new world boss and it's hallows end in warcraft uh neil's gonna bring you all the news in just one second just one second it's a uh, surprise surprise when you logged in yesterday and i didn't do this yesterday because i was just seeing if there was anything new patch 7.3 point new happened yesterday uh the and torch rate is going to go live at a later date uh but Primal Sargerite Vendor is now live. Uh, the other uh, patch updates are now live. There were some tuning things that happened, mostly PvP, it appeared. Uh, but there's a Primal Sargerite Vendor on the Vendicar uh, who will now sell you things like the gems that were hard to come by. Uh, if you are a jewel crafter and have been prospecting you, your ore, you know that the new gems that can be uh, turned into 200 stat gems on Argus have been rare from ore, uh, but now you can buy them from the vendor on the Vendicar. Uh, so he is live. Patch 7.3.2 is live. Small changes, small changes. You probably don't even notice except for that vendor. Artifact knowledge went to 49 this week. Artifact knowledge has gone up once again and players will receive more AP per drop. Some common AP tokens are posted on WoW heads for you to see what kind of uh, AP you're getting from various things. Uh, check that out if you are interested or just go to the world. Your Mythic Plus affixes this week are Raging, Necrotic, and Tyrannical. Raging, non-boss enemies in range at 30% health, remaining, dealing 100% increased damage until they are defeated. So we've got Raging, we've got Necrotic. All enemies' melee attacks apply a stacking blight that inflicts damage over time and reduces your healing received. That's necrotic. And tyrannical boss enemies, 40% more health. They inflict up to 15% more damage. So we've got raging, we've got necrotic, we've got tyrannical this week. Next week, bolstering, skittish, and fortified. And again, Wowhead has a great list of what's happening for the next month if you are interested in what those affixes are going to be. Your Greater Invasion Point World Boss this week is Matron Fulnuna. Matron Fulnuna drops a Frost Relic, a Life Relic, and of course if you've been doing your Greater Invasion Points from the start, you've already earned Invasion Obliteration. If you started a couple of weeks late, uh, you should be able to finish that up this week. She does a Slumbering Gasp. Uh, you should avoid that. Uh, if you uh, fail to avoid the Slumbering Gasp, you will... Uh, be put to sleep and then you have to be damaged to get out of that. Uh, that's your Greater Invasion Point World Boss Matron Full Moon. Your Broken Isles World Boss is Levantis. Levantis is in uh, Required for Terror of the Deep. Uh, he's also counts towards credit towards Unleashed Monstrosities, the tent for the improving on history, uh, balance of power skin. Uh, so, uh, go kill Levantis if you need those other skins for Balance of Power. Your Arena Skirmish uh, event is the bonus event this week. So this week we get the uh, Arena Skirmishes. Uh, honor gains from Arena Skirmishes are increased 50%. Will you consider, will you answer the call to battle? I've not done Skirmishes. Uh, I've given the other PvP things a try. I think I mentioned that here. I did try the uh, Packed House last week. Uh, I didn't think it was A, a good way to farm honor, or B, a good time. I uh, usually lost those pretty quickly. Did win one and uh, finished the quest for the week, but um, was not fun. Didn't enjoy it. I might give the uh, Arena Skirmish event, although win 10 of the battles, that seems like a high number. Uh, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. So, uh, Arena Skirmishes, uh, you can start doing them at level 15. Uh, it's 3v3, I believe. 3v3. You can queue with one or two party members or by yourself and be matched up with other people. Your PvP ratings are not affected by wins and losses and skirmishes. You can start doing them at 15. Win 10. Finish the quest. Get some stuffs. Um, archaeology this week. The reward for the next 
two weeks is a fun trinket item called Imp Generator. Uh, it's an 815 crit strike trinket uh, that opens up a portal to Mardoom sending imps at things. Uh, if you don't grab it in the next uh, couple of weeks, you have to wait another six months to get the imp generator. Uh, I have not checked, and I shall check now to see what Kazimuth is dropping this week. Uh, I think he was doing the mount the last two weeks, and these two weeks he's doing the pet. So if you haven't picked up the pet yet, go ahead and kill Kazimuth. Or you want an extra, go kill Kazimuth. Get a hungering claw uh, for the pet. Also, it's Hallow's End. You see the giant pumpkins behind me. Uh, one question always asked is, uh, where do the folks uh, get these giant pumpkins to carve? Goodness gracious. Be nice to know that. Uh, so you want to be doing your Headless Horseman dungeon to uh, pick up your Headless Horseman drains and the other um, uh, the, 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 the transmogs that are available from the Headless Horseman instance, uh, the dungeon. Uh, there are also new a new pet and two new toys from the vendor this year that you get from the Tricky Treats. Uh, so with, uh, I think, 150 Tricky Treats, you can buy Naxi, who's the pet, and you can buy the horse's tail and the horse's uh, butt uh, for 150 Tricky Treats. So you need 450 Tricky Treats to get the new stuff. Uh, that is uh, permanent. Uh, there's also a new costume, which is Xavius. I think the costumes cost 500 and all the old costumes. So I think they still have Lich King and uh, I think Varian was the one last year. Anyway, there are costumes. There are several pets that have been around for a while. There are several toys that have been around for a while. Several costumes that have been around for a while. One new costume, Xavius. One new toy. Uh, two new toys, the horse's head and the horse's Co rear end costume and a new pet Naxi. Uh, that's up through the 31st. Uh, so go get all the things from Hallow's End. Uh, fortunately, I had a good week last week and got uh, my Headless Horseman reins as well as the um, uh, the pet and the two toys uh, last week. So done with done with uh, Hallow's End for the foreseeable future. Also, if you didn't get them in your garrison, there are pets that you can only capture with the decorations that are up. So there's a ghastly rat behind me that you could capture in your garrison. And there's a spider uh, in your garrison that will drop a toy. I think the sack of spectral spiders. You can kill it once a day. Uh, and you can keep the, the uh, decorations up year round once you have them up. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with those. That's the week in WoW. That's the week in WoW. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like and share the video. If you didn't, go ahead and downvote the crap out of it because that's how that works. Also, keep up with me. Keep up with me. Keep up with me in all the ways. One of those ways, Twitch TV. The Neils are streaming this live to the internet right now. Go there. Throw up a follow. Appreciate the follows. Also, we're on Open Raid. All the events, uh, achievement events, are held on Open Raid. Uh, this week, we're doing Orgrimmar Raider and Tomb of Sargeras. Tomb Raider. Uh, Alliance side... Orgrimmar on Friday, Alliance Side Tomb on Saturday, Horde Side Tomb on Sunday, Horde Side Orgrimmar Raider on Monday. Uh, we're also doing fun runs through Emerald Nightmare on Thursday and Nighthold and Tomb of Sargeras on Sunday afternoon. That's all on Open Rate. Go to Open Rate. Sign up for those events. We're in a guild. Shadow Fates on Medivh. Shadow Fates on Exodar. Medivh, the Alliance Guild, Exodar, the Horde Guild. Join the guild if you're looking for a guild. We're also in the Achievements Discord. Go to the Achievements Discord if you enjoy getting achievements. Also, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all the places. Also, Patreon. That's where people are helping Neil help other people earn some more achievements and kill more raid bosses. If you enjoyed this video, don't thank Neil. Thank the patrons because they made it possible. Thanks to the patrons. Regnob, Avalotis, Neil, Adafluzzi, Tender, Mama, Ocean, Captain, Center, Audra, Bella, Van Lunissa, Infinitron, Holy Fox, Carl, Lucky Bee, Darla, Psyche, Mystery Patron, that could be you, Vinland, Alas, Kakarot, Actosank, Misery, Cortez, Oish, Joragar, Shigan, Pantheria, Equal Sucha, Marasha, Petsy, Lean Beef, Coconut, Jorfi, Azurea, Nosa, J.D. Vod, Shimei, Foggle, Delthon, or Tiger Song, Leia, Mystery Patron, that could be you, Hoof, Kamiya, Exafini, Javelina, Von Brelig, Willy, Tara, Nani, Vist, Mystical, Air Mama, Clip Dog, Zoo, Limpless, Ali, Sarer, they're all helping you, helping the people earn some more achievements, and we appreciate them all. Y'all have fun storming the castle today, and remember, that fire is still bad this expat. Y'all have a great one.